Hey guys, Ewan here and we are starting this video with New York Pro updates and first off we have Blessing of Oribu, who is, and I have to say very efficiently, hitting a twisted back shot, kneeling twisted back shot and uh, it does look really good, it looks magnificent. It looks very, very aesthetic like those old school bodybuilders used to do it and he's massive, like, he's way more massive than those guys. So it does look very good. I mean, Cedric McMillan was known for doing this shot, uh, twisted back shot, and he's also very good at it. But Blessing is looking absolutely amazing here. The lighting is very flattering, but still, it does look great. However, there is one, uh, at least one, flaring, I would say flaring weakness here. Can you notice it? I'm sure you can. The legs, right? The leg size. The legs could be bigger. Those, those quads and the hamstrings, they could be thicker. Uh, that's kind of an issue of blessing, basically, from what I can see right now, as far as the muscular development. Also, I would prefer to see a little bit peakier biceps and triceps, and in the front poses, maybe his waist can be a little bit more narrow, but those aren't exactly his biggest flaws. Right now, from what I can see, from what I can gather based on these photos, his legs need improvement, his legs need size. Especially if you compare them to probably your top runner, Hassan Mostafa, I mean that guy's legs are just one of the biggest legs ever and compared to Justin Rodriguez, he might even have better legs because Justin also has very bad, very weak legs however, Nick Walker has great legs, much thicker than this and I will show you an update of his as well in a moment but let's stay here for a while, for a second and you know, just admire the aesthetics because it's a really aesthetic open bodybuilder this guy, Blessing of Oribu, it's a really good twisted back shot. However, there is another update of his, a video of himself posing from the front. And wow, his waist looks really small, actually, from the front, which is not exactly something that you can see on stage. But when he does this vacuum, it looks great, and we'll see what it's gonna look like on stage. Can he actually do this vacuum and keep it like this for a long time when he's getting all the poses? Because if he can... That's gonna mean, that it's gonna be something, right? I mean, nobody really has this small waist, at least in this video right here. I don't know what that's gonna look on stage, but here his waist looks just so tiny. Way, way smaller than, Nick's, than Nick Walker's waist, yeah. And also look at the chest, look at how alive that chest is, how thick that chest is. So he has a lot of muscle in the chest, it looks really wide, really full. I mean, it's, it's popping right at you, it's 3D. So, this guy has genetics, man. This guy has some crazy genetics. As I said before, it's gonna be a case of Dorian Yates versus Flex Wheeler. I mean, Nick, uh, Nick Walker versus Blessing. You know, a black guy with crazy genetics, with that bubbly shape, with small joints, with crazy proportions, against a big, massive, and grainy white guy. And we all know what happened during the 90s. Dorian Yates versus Flex Wheeler. You know, the outcome of that. Dorian won because he was much bigger, and if that's the same thing right now, if Nick is that much bigger than Blessing, it's not classic physique, as much as you or I like those crazy shapes and proportions and, and that freaky, freaky genetics, this is bodybuilding we're talking about, man, I mean, size is always gonna prevail, size is always gonna win, it's not the most important thing, but it's a very, very important thing, and Nick most certainly does have a lot of it, take a look at this guy right now, and this side chest pose. He looks absolutely sick right now. I mean, look at the size of the biceps and of the chest and also everything else, really. The legs, the legs too, the hamstrings. Despite his age and for how long he was a pro, those hamstrings are some of the biggest in IFBB today. And also, he is one of the biggest pros today, actually, <laughs> believe it or not. Considering the fact that he turned pro last year, it's weird. Standing at only five foot seven, he's 270 right now, and he's pretty much peeled. I mean, of course, not exactly. He's gonna have to diet down and lose some more muscle, some more weight. Of course, not muscle, but he's close. I mean, he doesn't have to lose a lot. So I'm guessing he's gonna be over 250, which is big, which is very, very big. Most of the big guys, the big top guys, are at around 250. Like Ian Valier, for example, he, he's a monster, he's a freak, but he's around 250 and Nick is 270 right now and I think Nick is shorter than, than, than Ian. So, 
I don't know, let's say he dies down to 255, 260 maybe. He's gonna be a freak with that size. I mean, and and I know he's gonna bring conditioning, no doubt about that. With Matt Jansen, Matt Jansen figured it out with, with Nick. He brought conditioning to a very good level last year. And I'm sure, I mean, he's looking shredded right now at about five, six weeks out. So I'm sure Nick is gonna be ripped and huge at the New York Pro and very, very hard to beat. Since I mentioned Ian Valier, let me show you this real quick. It's Ian Valier pulling 800 solid ass pounds on a deadlift, which is a record of Ronnie Coleman. And what's crazy here is that he's doing this with quite an ease, right? He doesn't seem like he's struggling, really. He did this pff, easily. So I'm sure he can lift even more than this. I'm sure this workout right here, he could have pulled 850. And I'm sure if he keeps doing this, and he will, soon it will be 900. I, I'm sure. And, and probably a thousand pounds. I wouldn't be too surprised. If he really wanted to, if he really focused for the next, I mean, let's say, a few months, he could get to a, to a thousand pounds. <laughs> Imagine that. So this tells you how much of a beast Ian Valier is. And he's, uh, he's top seven at the Mr. Olympia, but he's sort of underrated. I don't know if people actually are aware of how big this guy is. He's one of the freakiest looking guys in the IFBB right now and one of the strongest as well. He's incredibly strong. And I'm expecting huge things from this guy in the future days to come. Let's get back to New York Pro for a second. Here is an update of Justin Luis Rodriguez. This guy, I mean, he at, at like, let's say, at 10 weeks out, he doesn't look like he's gonna win a show. In the offseason, he doesn't look very impressive, but as the show approaches and he gets leaner, he tends to keep most of his muscle and still leans out and, and, and get really grainy and really conditioned. And just look at him, just watch him, just watch what happens with his body as the show is approaching, as the show is getting closer and closer. Based on what we've seen so far, he is making his body transform so fast. And I listened to his coach that cement factory guy, whatever his name is, he, is, he has been telling us that, that, that Justin is able to diet on like 50 grams of carbs, 40 grams of carbs, or like zero carbs. That's extremely low for a guy of his height. He's a beast, he's really big. He's standing you know, next to Ian and doesn't get dwarfed, so he's a big guy, and he's dieting with like 50 carbs. That's crazy, that's crazy for him to actually maintain this kind of size and still come full and look great at the show and get so lean. So his body is efficient. And his body is able to go that low on carbs and still keep the fullness and lose all the fat. So let's just wait and watch him grow. I mean, get better as the show approaches. And yeah, he's one of the favorites. In my opinion, top three. Top three is pretty much guaranteed for him. He very well might win the show, but we'll see what's going to happen. Based on this side chest pose, he does look good. Not as good as, as the other guys, maybe, based on the photos. But when the show day comes, he's gonna look impressive. And he's, he, he might win that show. What do you think? Alright, so Nathan Diasha. We haven't seen anything, any physique updates from this guy. Because he has been through a lot. You know, with all those allegations uh, that he was selling uh, gear. And also now with uh, keeping his gym open when it wasn't supposed to be open and uh, him being arrested and so on. Uh, a lot of trouble he went through, but but surprisingly he looks really good. Like for the off season, he looks huge. I mean, I don't think he lost any gains. He looks probably bigger than I've ever seen him. I don't know, he looks great. I don't know what he was doing, uh, but I doubt that he was able to train really hard. Uh, I mean, I doubt that based on what was happening to his life, but based on this physique update, I don't really. It seems like he was training. Look at his back. I think he was training and eating and doing everything because he looks phenomenal right now. I mean, he's lean and he's really full. For his standards, maybe a little bit more fluffy as he, as he stresses here, but still, he looks impressive. I'm not sure what his plans are for the future, when he plans on competing again. But I gotta tell you, he looks great. He looks big right now, big and full, and uh, not not fat, really, just a little bit watery. If he decided to die down, he could be stage red in like five weeks. So I don't know which show he, he plans on doing. I don't know if he can actually travel to the US. 
but he should try and, and do New York Pro. I think he won it once, and I'm pretty sure he could win it again if he did if he did win it once. I'm sure he could win this show. Based on who is coming, he has a legitimate chance of actually, I mean, stealing that win because nobody is expecting it from him. And honestly, I did not expect him to look this good right now in the offseason. Look at the back. Look at the back. Last breath. Just crazy. And chest here and, and arms. He's good. He looks great. I don't know. I don't know what his plans are as far as competing, but he looks on point right now. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like it. And if you want to see more bodybuilding updates on this channel, please subscribe. The plan is to bury you with content in the coming weeks, months and years. So if you guys want to support me, just show it to me by subscribing and liking this video. Again, thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.